is now, is now taking a stand against the department. the department. She's alleging unfair treatment of women in general, and especially if they're pregnant. Tonight, she shares her story with CBS News' Janet DeAngelis. And having a little girl, and how does it look for me as a mother if I'm not fighting for her rights as a woman? With her third child on the way, Trooper Shoshana White says she's putting her foot down, filing this discrimination complaint against the New York State Police. White joined the department in 2016 and was pregnant with her second child a year later. I learned of the fact that we don't have maternity leave at that time, I was in shock. Also shocked to find there was no time allotted in her 12-hour shift to pump her breast milk and no set place to do it. She'd pump in the locker room, her patrol car, or sometimes not at all. If you don't get to pump um, a certain amount of times per day, of course it reduces your um, production of milk. Um, it hurts. She says that, that needs to change along with the months-long Way to transfer pregnant women from patrol to death duty. Of course, this is very dangerous for a state trooper that rides alone, you know, a lot of the times. State police denied an on-camera interview but told us the complaint is being reviewed and, quote, all of our policies are in compliance with the requirements under state law. It's laughable. Show me one facility within each Eric Sanders represents White and a group of NYPD officers who filed a similar suit in 2019. He says since then, the NYPD has installed some pumping pods and the case is in settlement discussions. What would you want the outcome of this to be? I just want them to consider us as far as the health and safety of the mother, the mother and the child. And the child. Not, let not let women be afraid, be afraid to, start to start a family. White is now on death duty here in the city, but says her request to be reassigned closer to home on Long Island due to her high-risk pregnancy was denied. The state police says any issues revealed will be handled appropriately. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.